Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're looking at some very interesting attacks. These are attacks that don't necessarily fit into any one army composition. It's looking at the base, seeing what it calls for, and applying the right troops, whatever that is. So we're seeing at Town Hall 10 especially, but also some of the higher Town Hall levels, people designing, you know, weird bases, things that are not easy to hit with the traditional, you know, hog attacks with the wall wrecker, your typical uh, Sui battle blimp, La Luna attacks, or your frozen witch, things that require a little more thought. So just a quick video, just maybe kind of try, try to inspire some ideas for you guys as you're attacking. This first one, a nice dragon attack, and you can see all the air defenses on one side of the base. The heroes create a nice funnel, so the dragons are going to go in, get the expos, the multi-infernos won't do a whole lot of damage. And then check this out. Loon's coming through, um, has one hound to tank the back end, went ahead and used a battle blimp for those two air defenses. Then that clone spell on the balloons to make a few more a uh, ton of balloons still left up, and like I said, these multis cannot really hurt the dragon. They just don't do enough damage. Uh, so this base is crushed. There's loons everywhere. Some of them will disappear as the clone spell wears off, uh, but there's plenty of dragons as well. Very nice hit to Lanny. This was our final Town Hall 10 attack of the war and definitely made it pay off. So um, identify the base and don't try to force things on it. Don't force your typical wall wrecker kill squad uh back end hogs or your typical sui hero lalo or frozen witch because bases are set up to defend that they're not always set up to defend the more weird attacks that have army compositions that are unusual and very base specific so get away from those cookie cutter uh, armies especially at town hall 10 as bases tend to kind of get more weird Let's take a look at one of my attacks. I purposely didn't show this one on the stream uh, because I wanted to save it for this video. Um, this was a cleanup attack and oftentimes you, you need to know the Teslas if you're gonna do kind of a more outlandish attack like this. You can see um, I'm gonna get all four Teslas with my queen on this walk just for the price of one rage. The queen is great at getting Tesla farms on walks. Um, because the Teslas don't have much range and they have even less range uh, to make them pop. So basically as the Tesla triggers, that's when the Queen's going to target it more or less. So the Teslas are not effective at all at stopping Queen walks, which is why this worked out very nicely. Gets a little bit close here because the Queen gets low. The Skelly spell makes her waste a few shots as the rage wears off. But she's going to be okay. Meanwhile, um, I'm going to have a wall wrecker at 12 and then witches on the side. This is almost that queen walk vomit attack. If you guys watched a little bit of uh, CWL season, what is it, season 4, the one before this, where Town Hall 11s did this here and there, where you have the queen walk go into a mass bowler, then you put witches on the other side as part of the funnel. That's basically what this was. But also, um, once again, we're avoiding that cookie cutter army. Doesn't have to just be that queen walk vomit, but look at this multi. It's off the side. It's not going to be targeted for a little while by those bowlers or the queen or anything, especially with the hound in the CC to distract the queen. So I bring six hogs in a heel. That way the multi goes down, so it's not going to be a hassle. Also, quite a few freezes to kind of keep all that damage off everything. Let the wall wrecker push through. Um, great value from these freezes, the first two especially. Here come the hogs, and like I said, they're going to take out that multi before it does too much work on anything. Um, the wall wrecker pushes very far, and then I just go ahead and use the freeze to kind of help protect the bowlers inside of it. But this is what I'm saying, guys. Um, you'll see how many troops are left up at the end. The witches on the outside, the heroes in the middle, and then the hogs coming from the other side. All works out very nicely. So um, look at the base and don't be afraid to kind of see which parts of the base are susceptible to which types of troops and kind of match those together into one cohesive attack. Because as you guys can see, it's these types of attacks that maybe aren't the first thing you think of as the attack meta that can crush some of these bases. Now, it's not to say be too fancy. If you're in a random uh, search, maybe against clans that don't have quite as good bases as some of the clans in CWO Invite, you might be able to pull off Frozen Witches or stuff that's more common much more easily. 
um, and just go with that. But if the bases are very well tested and they're set up to defend against those common strategies, that's when you wanna bust out some of these more unique attacks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very quick, one to show these two nice attacks and give you guys some uh, potentially some ideas for attacks of your own at Town Hall 10 and above and below depending on uh, where you are right now. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good war to Kahazi Bomber 2. Um, once again, we got the victory if you did not see the stream. And we're getting ready for our week three matchup. So I hope to see you guys at the stream next weekend. That'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisectatron out.